Hello everyone, this is Mitch, and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play Kerbal Space program. So, in case you missed it in the previous episode, I have tweaked the difficulty options so it looks like this. So, reduce the science rewards, reduce the funds rewards, increase the funds penalties, and I think that's pretty much it. And so you're probably noticing right now at the top, I have a lot more science than in the previous episode. This is because I basically made a copy and paste from my moon landing mission to gather more science. Of course, since it was uh, a landing on the moon, I didn't record it. But this is all in preparation of going interplanetary. And to go interplanetary, I was hoping for, first of all, uh, docking capabilities, which is going to require RCS, so this node. Um, oops, Kerbal Space Program lagging and crashing, see you in a second. And I'm back, so sorry about that. So as I was saying, I wanted this node for RCS. This one for the dedicated liquid fuel tank. Um, this one here for docking as well. This one for bigger fuel tanks. This one would be nice, just bigger engines. And especially this part here for the atomic engine, which only uses liquid fuel because as you can see if I right click like this it's got a very high ISP in vacuum so in order to unlock this all this science we are going to launch yet another Corbolo but this time we are not going to the Mun we are going to Minmus so who's going to be the lucky pilot to get their level 2 uh, why not go with Jeb. Uh, probably a scientist who's going to get level 2 would be Bob, I suppose. He's only been on a flyby of the Mun, but I think it's going to be enough to earn him his second star. And Kirtzen has absolutely no experience whatsoever, so he's going to be our lucky passenger. So, launch. And I'm going to skip ahead the uh, orbit part because, once again, we've seen it. So, see you in a minute. And I'm back again. So, as you can see, I am in orbit. I can show you. We are in low orbit of Kerbin. And I set up a maneuver node already to get a gravity assist from the Mun, which, interestingly enough, is going to be roughly at the ascending node towards Minmus. So you really don't need to do that, but it's going to save a tiny bit of fuel. So I decided to do it. So what I did is simply target the MUN, set up my maneuver, and this is what it looks like. So we are going to fast forward to the uh, maneuver. And I'm going to show you basically how to save um, scraps of fuel really, but still, fuel. So, pointing towards the maneuver node, fast forwarding, 11 minutes, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we can slow down, quick save, reorient the ship so it's quite accurately on the maneuver node. Fast forward a little bit more, and fire the engines. So we are using the uh, Kerbolo's ascent stage, and hopefully we can ditch the ascent stage on the MUN, basically, have it on a impact trajectory. But maybe, just maybe, we can use it to uh, actually op straight to Minmus. We'll see. So, burning. About halfway done. It's going 
well. Still have plenty of fuel. And the nice thing about Minmus is that it's really low gravity. So we are going to be able to uh, up from biomes to biomes a couple of times, which should hopefully yield the um, roughly 5,000, no, not 5,000, 500 points of science that we're going to need to go interplanetary. We don't really need it, but it's going to be quite helpful. And it will make your life and mine a lot easier if you do it this way. So making final adjustments. Hurry up, hurry it along a little bit. And like this. And we are on a crash course towards the Mun, but it's fine as it is. We are going to make a small correction burn just before we enter its sphere of influence. So, right about there. Now I'm going to focus the view on the Mun. And let's see what we can do. So if we move this way, it's not going to make much of a difference. I want to go this way. Now, what's that going to do to our apoapsis? It's much, much further down than I'd like. And also we'll want to uh, invert the tilt on our trajectory because Minmus is inclined the other way. So if we look at the... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lines on the screen right now. I'm going to disable the network. So if we look like this, the yellow line is Minmus's orbit. And we'll want the light green line to be roughly oriented the same way. So. Let's move it a little bit more. Is that the right way? It's difficult to see. What you should watch for is the uh, ascending and descending nodes. So 2.5 degrees looks like the best we can do from that position. Then we're going to get a periapsis, which is perfectly fine. And the apoapsis, let's see if we can push it further. We can. So right now we already almost have an encounter with Minmus just by doing this. However, this is going to take us into the Mun again. Let's see what we can do about that. Decent periapsis. New apoapsis is not quite what I'd like. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it like that. Actually, we can even put it inside the MUN so we can get rid of the ascent stage and not leave debris in orbit. And we're gonna fast forward there. Zoom. Five hours. Four. Three. Two. Less than an hour. Slow down a bit. There we go. Alright, good enough. So we're going to orient the ship properly. And do this slight correction burn. Going real easy on the throttle. Want this to be precise. And there we go, good enough. 
So that will cause our ascent stage to crash, which is fine. It's got barely any fuel left. Everything else is full. So we'll point the ship basically towards the Mun. And we'll actually decouple the ascent stage in this position. And it should be on its merry way to the moon, yes. Alright, so back to the ship. Of course, we don't want to crash the lander on the moon. That would be bad. So we'll actually wait a little bit. We'll wait until... or... no, let's do it right away. So let's add a maneuver node here. And see how we can get ourselves out of this impact trajectory. Just like that. Perfect. So let's do this. So another radial burn. Perfect for tweaking encounters and such. And there we go. We are a safe distance away from the Mun. And our next orbit is going to take us much, much, much closer to Minmus than if we burned straight for it. So, and we are going to enter this orbit over there, which is not ideal. So what we could do is prepare a maneuver there to get to Minmus. Or actually to uh, make sure that our inclination with relation to Minmus is actually the same. It's going to be the other way. There we go. Zero degrees. And actually, could we fix it here? is the question, or around the Mun. Can we? Let's get rid of these maneuvers for now. Actually, we want to target Minmus. No, I don't want to set the target. I want to create a maneuver node. All right. So let's see if we can change the um, inclination. We can, but doesn't look very efficient. No. No. So let's forget that. Let's go through our encounter with the Mun. Alright, so we're going to just zip by. Can't go faster at this altitude. Alright. And zoom. Alright, so we've increased our orbit by quite a bit. And then we're going to fix the inclination with regards to Minmus. So barely any fuel to spend. Because our orbit is so high, we're going very slow and every change is very efficient. However, it's going to take a lot of time. We're going to have to wait four days in orbit before we can actually make the maneuver. Oh, and the focused view is still on uh, the MUN. That's fine. All right, all right, all right. Good. Burning. And stop. And zero degrees. So now we just have to find where we need to burn in order to reach Minmus. It's going to be a prograde burn for sure. Whoops. Let's 
Okay, there is not very good. Not there either. Might actually be trickier this way because now we have an eccentric orbit. So finding the right place to burn for Minmus is going to be a bit more of a problem. Let's see. How can we make this happen? Alright, so I'll play with this for a minute, and I'll come back when I've found a proper maneuver to reach Minmus. And I'm back. So I figured out a maneuver to get us a Minmus encounter. Uh, I'm not sure it really saved fuel for me, but hey, at least you've seen how to get a gravity assist. So, uh, wait, I'm too early. Let's fast forward to the node. All right, close enough. And let's burn for Minmus. So as you can see, it's not necessarily a lot. It'll get us there. And also doing this, it should also save us fuel at least when we get there to uh, match orbits and get captured by Minmus. Final touches. Periapsis under a hundred kilometers. That's really good. So fast forward until we get there. We can actually switch the view for Minmus. That's more appropriate. All right, there we are, and now we just need to break a little bit to get captured. There we go. Actually make this even closer, roughly. Point the ship in the right direction and time warp again. Again, watching the timer at the bottom so as to not fly by and miss at tremendous speeds. Coming up on the maneuver node. And close enough, we're going to burn. And capture. And getting into a nice and low orbit. There we go. At periapsis, we'll lower the orbit even further. And we'll prepare for a landing. So here we go, time warp. Periapsis. Another short retrograde burn. And there we go, we have a nice low circular orbit 
around Minmus. And is that? I think it's our shadow, actually. So, crew report. Barometer. Thermometer. Mystery goo. Materials bay. Let's EVA Jebediah. Let's actually... No, he has an EVA report. Perfect. Let's move Bob up there and EVA him so we can reset the experiments. Collect the data. There we go. Restore. Can we store the experiments in there? Yes, we can. Can take a second report. Collect and restore. Can do the same with the mystery goo. Try and store it in the command pod. Oops. Let's try not to spin the command pod too much. Gather more mystery goo experiments. Collect data. Oops. Flying past. Restore. store it in this one and let's get the barometer and thermometer scans take it take it and let's board again let's transfer him back into the crew cabin. Let's bring Jeb back. <laughs> He's drifted a fair bit. Alright, getting closer. Grab and board. And let's turn the SAS back on because the spinning is crazy. What is this? World first milestone. Very good. Alright, so we've got all the signs from low orbit we can get from now. For now, rather. And let's now find a suitable landing spot for the first landing. Actually, let's take a bit of a tally for the science we have currently. So 16, 50, 20, 10, 24, 16, 20, and then we have this, or 20 and 50. That's a good start. We need at least um, maybe 300 more. A single landing should be plenty. Let's see where we could land. Could try landing on this plateau there. Let's see where rotation takes us. So, yeah, let's go retrograde and land on this plateau on Minmus. So, first Minmus landing. Mm -hmm. 
So again, let's start by killing the horizontal velocity. There we go. Now we're falling really slowly towards the surface because Minmus has very low gravity. That's fine. Let's go back to this view. Let's. Set the landing gears. Very good. And let's actually speed up our fall. Because Minmus has such low gravity, we're not really in any danger right now. Zoom. Still falling rather slowly. On the Mun, you couldn't really do that. I mean, you'd fall much, much faster. Let's start slowing down. meters is pretty good. Go with 30, 20, and just going down gently. go, almost there. And touchdown. So that's it, we're on Minmus. So I'm going to collect the science, I'm probably going to hop to another biome, maybe, depending on how much science we got here. I don't want to gather too much. So if that helped you, if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe, comments and feedback in the sections below. See you next time. Bye bye.